So that does complete the bands. So Oasis, Rudasapi, and Shambhali Monastery band out. I am just going to leave it. It's on. It's rebanding out Escort right now. I want to make sure. Yes, indeed. Okay, so Tapir's not trying to do anything cheeky here with, you know, the bands getting reset. It was the same as we saw before. Bring back the podcast. Ooh. That's another thing to consider. That's another thing to consider. I've thought about bringing back Map 5. And see, then I could then I would put the interviews on the Map 5 channel. And then interviews would go on that channel. Hmm. We'll see. Let's get into Map 1. Show me some Overwatch. Oh, you stupid margins. Oh, you, you, margins. Mm, grumble, grumble, grumble. All right, we're going into your goblin comp right out of the gate here. Ooh, headshots exchanged. So Arisa from both sides. We're getting the Genji in there with the Brig Juno. Instead of the Ash, I mean, you're getting, you know, Widowmaker and in the head scan roll. Um, particular situations, Ruins being one of those unique outliers. You will see the Widowmakers. J-Man has not only first blood, but our first two kills. Here early, early in map one. Pressure now down in onto Evie up front. Evie's able to get one, but it's taking a lot of pressure. Anhu is still in this front line, and Tanuka Tapire have first control of this objective. Anhu with three players kind of pinned down, but can't pursue, considering the brig amongst them. Actually, both supports were in there. Evie now pushing back out. Aurora forced to back all the way. Anhu with the deflect used, relegating the point. Tapiri will pick that up. I don't know why I just put Tapiri in the scoreboard. I intended to put Tanuki Tapiri in the scoreboard. I'll fix that here after this map. Sorry. Oh, actually, I'll probably do it this up now. I shortened it for, like, you know, my, my behind-the-scenes stuff, like, for doing my graphics, but... And, I didn't intend to short it on the scoreboard. That's not right. That's not right. That's a mistake. Good team fight win here out of ASU as they get control back. Both teams with roughly 20 some percent, 20 to 30 percent at this point. Both teams have been able to win a, a fight on the point. That was nice positioning from Putter here on this high ground. Roar taking a lot of damage, but. J-Man creating just a little bit of space there. I have to respect the Infrasight coming out. As you can see, Putter's just sitting back, waiting for the walls to fade. Jump shot into the back line. Ooh, almost caught Norwalls sleeping up there. I mean, all the way coming out from the bridge, thrown diagonally into the point. On, he's trying to keep everybody pinned back, so they're not able to use it. Gets whip shot away here by Passenger. Meanwhile... Amy ran through with their orbital ray onto the point. Is taking damage from all sides. Putter takes J-Man down and ooh, there's several ults thrown in the mix. Both Terra Surge, as a matter of fact, and Putter picking up too with that uh, with that Dragon Blade. I almost called it Kitsune Blade. I don't know why. I almost called it Kitsune Blade. That's Wolfie with the sights now out. Not in a fantastic position to take advantage of it. I think it wasn't expecting a different rotation. Oh, does catch on who slipping up here on this bit of high ground. Rally now out. Thunder trying to make their way in. 4v4 on this point. Both teams are missing their Genji at the moment. 
Wolfie catches J-Man on the exit, and here comes the pursuit. Just good pressure along the outside here from Tefiri. As you come back in with an orbital ray, but Narwhal has kept right in step. They're gonna be able to match this. Jamie was able to sneak up on the high ground for a moment before getting run off. Ooh, Narwhal's head popped up again. Narwhal seems to be just flirting with disaster there. There's the jump. Ooh, body shot leads on the wall. Can't quite connect with the red axe. And Putter hits the deflect for the kill. Orbital rays are in for both teams. Well, it looks like Tapir is able to edge this one out. They've got... Woo! That could be big! No! But Aurora goes down! He's able to kill them with the, the jab spin. And what was otherwise looking like a big... Could have started a comeback. But it was just a glimmer of hope. False hope, it seems. His first round will go to Snooki Tapir. Well, pay attention to your script. I mean, I appreciate I appreciate you being here. Brick Anna with Winston coming in from both sides. Anu pulling out the Echo or we're getting the Ash out of Wolfie. So Wolfie, as you imagine, is positioned up on that high ground. Anu taking the low approach, though. Eats a Bionade uh, out of Passenger there, right out of the gate. Maybe hitting on the jump. Oh, Wolfie catch J-Man down low. Imagine trying to make their way in. That leaves Putter open to go cap with really no contest there. And as they wait for J-Man to get back in this fight... We've got Tanuki Tapir with first control here with just the one kill coming out from Wolfie. There goes Aurora back up to that high ground. Eats a sleep dart through the shield. And force up just in the nick of time. They almost picked up that kill on an R wall, but reinforcements show up. I think it was a coach gun of Wolfie that actually pushed them back. That was a Bionade all the way across, though. What a huge nade coming out from Panther. A war goes down, but not before taking two down in their own right. And the point has been flipped in favor of ASU. The volley of stickies thrown in. That was a nano boost invested onto Eevee. Is they're immediately trying to see if they can strike back and cut down ASU supports. Eevee not find anything. And forced back onto this objective. A war back to the high ground. Putter loses the 1v2 on the object. Uh, excuse me. Hunter loses that. That was Aurora on the high ground. Well, yeah, whichever. Wait, hey, nice sleep. That's going to result in the kill on the Thunder. And once again, passengers showing up in a big way here on this Ana. Now on the point, lands the purple onto J Man. Almost got the kill with the sleep dart, but Putter's there to finish it off. That is a duplicate from Anhu onto the Winston. Almost 50% on the board here for ASU. The purple lands and Aurora is able to pick up one using a nano primal rage. So three ults invested from ASU in this fight. They are looking to firmly secure this. Including late staggers on the putter. Can they get Wolfie as well? They can. J-Main coming up with that one. Rally popped out of the back. Norwell is able to get one. Aurora is low. The stun won't let Aurora out. Putter is there to lock it down. And this ASU just gets cut off. I tried overextend to follow up on some kills and end up paying for it. Perhaps the, the group respawns kind of, you know, playing with that, messing up that internal timer. I know it has me. What's up, Grezen? Hola. Thank you for being here. Ooh, that was a big move from Eevee up to that high ground. J-Man tried to strike back, but Anhu is going to die in the end. Is Eevee with well-timed assault to clear off the balcony. 40% now counting on, uh, on the board for Tanuki Tapira.
Is he, am I at least close to pronouncing that right? To P right? That's what I'm going with. That's, that's the best I can make out of the uh, phonetic spelling you gave me. Then it was an engage here for BB and immediate sleep out of Panther. Panther has just been nasty. Really looking like some hello health bars, but what a great nade. Panther will keep everybody alive and topped up. The rally now reinforcing ASU as they move back onto this objective. And it close to a duplicate. Z Panther picks up another kill. Tell you, Panther has just been outstanding on this Ana. Oop, gets the purple lid. And Z turns their attention back onto Grandma. Able to find Thunder. Panther, did that nano get out? I don't know that that nano got out. I think the nano got interrupted there. Aurora's gonna have a nap. Point's gonna flip in favor of Tanuka Tapire. Yumi does get chased off the objective. Still running to make it to the Mega. Doesn't make it to the Mega in time. Wolfie will chase on who down and throws a volley of stickies down into the uh, the support line. But Putter can't make it back. ASU send us to round three. We're headed to the well to determine this first map. Okay. We're going to get the Lucio Kiri Wrecking Ball out in a full dive comp. Here from Tanuki Tapiri. Up to the high ground. Ooh, good bio from Panther. Force is normal out of the fight and leaves Passenger open for a bit of an ambush. Z Panther once again getting into the mix. Continues to have an excellent map here. Getting into this auto. This certainly seems to be a, a real comfort zone for this ASU squad. Keep that in mind here as we continue through the rest of this series. As they get the kill on to Eevee. First cap going over, uh, over to ASU. Is she trying to bunker up inside the cage? Here comes J-Man looking to push out. Aurora did the same, looking to go the other direction. But Wolfie does find that kill on to Anhu. Meanwhile, Aurora headed into the back line. Oh, but Wolfie comes up with another. Should just leave it on Wolfie's paw. Wolfie now chasing Aurora, trying to peel here for their own supports. Who does look managed to find safety? Oh, one second. Makes it out of the well. I'm sure their eyes just as quickly went to that cooldown as everybody else's did. Ends up being a nice fight win here on the front line from the Wrecking Ball Cop. And control goes over to Pire. Now, if we saw a sleeping hamster come falling out of the sky, I would have been very impressed. Nano is available, but so is the Pulse Bomb. Putter's going to trade themselves for Thunder. Aurora's already popped this Primal. <laughs> Butter got two. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> we'll be with a duplicate on who? Uh, dropping a dupe as well. There's on to a Lucio. Uh, you know, an unusual dupe pick, but it looks to be working out. I've already contributed to one. You can get the bonus sound barrier. That would have been nice. No such luck today. Maybe back on the point to continue to stall things out, but with on who's kill on to putter, it does ensure the flow.
Maybe rolling in with the mines ready to go. We do also have this rush in the pocket of passenger. Nate used defensively here out of Panthers. The mines come in over Cage. The sleep and the stickies rally up from Thunder. But with the Katsune rush, Tanuki TV have been able to take control of this objective. Trying to push back out. Thunder ends up into the mines. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, Evie must have come in from the backside with a boob. I didn't see it coming, and neither did ASU. Aurora will not make it out of there. Anu does end up getting that kill, even though the uh, focusing beam didn't land. 78% on the board. Panther with an Nano Boost to re-engage back in. Looking like last chance here for ASU to do so on this map. Anu trying to peel for the... Tracer out of the back. Receives the Nano Boost. Heads up to the high ground. Able to find a kill on the Wolfie. Turn the attention onto the Wrecking Ball. Gets a lot of good shots in. Putter able to move in and get both supports though. Anu not able to secure that kill. Now dancing around trying to find it. Has Narwhal down low. Putter coming through on the backside through the house. J-Man's able to find the former. Oh, it drops a pulse in. Aurora goes down. But J-Man is able to trade it out for a couple of their own. Anu knocked out of their duplicate. Ooh, I think Evie might have this. Ooh, that is actually Anu gets the health pack. Comes back in. Sees some healing, it looked like, from that back line as well. ASU get the flip. A wild fight here on this point. Anu pressuring the two on the outside over coast. Evie close to mines. Duplicate at the ready. Katsune rush coming up soon. It's going to take a pretty mighty primal rage as Aurora heads to the top of the lighthouse with it. That is the Suzu out from Passenger. They have a swift sip. They do. Did they get far enough away? They're joining Putter on the backside. Ooh, and the knock into the pit to climb up the wall, and it's right into Aurora's jump. Panther's able to get one amidst all this as well, but the primal rage does exactly what it needs to. Keeping that back line offset, and the dub is there for ASU. And 199, ASU, hold on. Clean this one up. Take a 1 0 lead in the series. But I'll be damned. It wasn't hard fought down to the wire. All right. Take a look at some stats there from map one. Even with your fewest deaths in the lobby at 26 and 5. Not unusual for a wrecking ball. But still, the fact remains. Anu and Passenger right there. Anu in the uh, in the damage roll with only 6 guys. 22 and 6. We head into map two. It was King's Row banned out. And me going to swap our sides here. Well, that's a first RI-7. I don't think anybody has come in LFT in my chat before. Oh, Jake Bruce just got to pile on with that. All right. We're just LFT in my chat now. Five, I, I, I'm not even quite sure what to make of that. I don't know if I should be flattered or offended. All right. Any issue out here on the attack? The 1-0 lead in the series. We are going to see both teams actually sticking in these Winston compositions. Oh, 
take a look at some, some early shots from J-Man here. Panther had a huge impact there on map one. So I was initially just kind of thinking about Panther and just the massive bio nades they were throwing in. But it looks like Passenger is the one that gets the early nade, though Aurora comes up with first blood. Wins out the battle with Evie on the front line, despite some pressure into ASU's back line. Putter is able to strike back here. And Cafe has thoroughly bunkered. A couple of shots from Panther land. Oh, and the dive. Oh, that is a beautiful attack out of Aurora and Panther to combo for that kill onto Jamie. But they lose Wolfie in the process. Evie back here, and Thunder cannot get out. Defense gives up one tick, but should stabilize. Still a little bit of a battle going on for this choke. Defense have not gotten back at their full reinforcements. There's a dive into the back. Warren doesn't find anything. Gets down about half health and is forced out. So, defense is, in fact, going to stabilize here. On who built up to uh, pull spawn. This has putter on the other side. There's on who in. Pulse bomb into the back. Won't land. D Panther goes down, but... Aurora has ooh, had the Nano now is going to go ahead and Primal. Leaping out of the way of that Pulse Bomb just as the Sleep Dart wears off. Now seeing if they can punish uh, Wolfie here in the back line. Heels do come through. It was, that, was, uh, that was Narwhal that's still back there with him. With the Rally ready to go and able to keep Putter topped up here as well. So just now approaching that second tick with Bob thrown in from this defense. Putter still has the, the break there to back him up. Will force a recall out. Actually dashes into the other side momentarily. Now Narwhal's turn to anchor in on this point. Evie returns, and the rally has been thrown in. Thunder taken out of their rally as they get punished down. Narwhal's coming up with multiple picks here on the objective while we were watching Evie chase away the only sustain. Run, guy, where is he? Never mind, here's the work. <laughs> Leave Greg alone. Let Greg work. That was a huge buyout to hit. Oh, let's talk about Panther's prowess on this. Oh! But look, Otto is able to kind of strike back. Uh, yeah, but Aurora got too low. I blinked, I swear, says Putter. All right. I don't know that we've ever had a 5v5 on this point. <laughs> I'm kidding. Both teams are engaging here, trying to beat the other's reinforcements back in. We did have Bob invested into the cafe. And it's been enough to kind of force this defense of Tanuki out. Jamie got position on the high ground, on who inside, and all of them are trying to converge onto the Primaling Eevee. We do still have Passenger with the Nano here to, to give reinforcements. Jamin! Ooh, that may have escaped. Escaped the sights of Eevee, couldn't escape the sights of Wolfie. Now Primal, uh, the Nano needs to be thrown in. There it is. Eevee gets it, goes into the back line. Aurora has one of their own and has managed to take down Wolfie with the Primal. It's a race of the Nanoing Winstons. Nice little juggle there. A couple of good shots. Somehow, passengers managed to keep Norwell alive, but still, they will not be able to survive long enough to get the rally online. And that is ASU. Finally coming up with the goods here, but it took them until overtime to do it. It is Tapiri 1.0 versus Tapiri 2.0, isn't it? I just realized that too, as he did. How did I not clutch onto that? How did I not grab onto that? I mean, I, yeah, I knew that. That's why I picked this match. Duh. <laughs> it is absolutely Tapire versus Tapire. <laughs> and both are 8 and 2 for that matter. Whoa. <laughs> Butter's like, I'm going to go up this ele elevator. Nope, never mind. They didn't clock the Widowmaker prior to that. They certainly know now. Good kill for Putter. There's a Bob on the objective. And a rally thrown out. Where's this rally? 
Rally out of Norwals. They try to survive the ingress from Aurora, and it works. Putter finds J-Man with the pulse. And that is just going to be the hole. Minute 20 left on the clock here. Primal throwing in just to pick up these kills. Oh, what a juggle. Beautifully done out of Eevee. Mm, latest additions here to the superior squad. Proving their superiority over the, the former teammates. Or I don't know. Not exactly teammates, but, you know, teammates in brand, I suppose. 60 seconds to go. Wolfie is up here as well alongside Eevee. EV Nano slapped. That was a shot out of spawn from J Man, and Anhu is able to get one as well, so. Oh, J Man has sight, so they know Putter's back there. Makes a swap to the Echo. What a smart play out of J-Man. And is going to go ahead and put pressure uh, on the Putter. All right, while well, that duel's going on, let's keep an eye on this front line. <laughs> His Putter's going to win that one out, despite J-Man getting the info. Dive up to the high ground, denied. Wolfie's under a bit of pressure on the low ground. Aurora with the Primal Rage, trying to continue to push this forward, see if they can get ASU a second point on the board. Nice little push on the wall, wall forces him into the corner. Catches an extra punch, couple of punches on the EE as well. Now the monkey sandwich is there. Is Narwhal with some good bashes on the outside. Steven Nave defensively. Ooh, but the purple is in. Thunder doesn't get a chance to pop the rally. Doesn't need it. Second point is on the board. The contest was late. Top here. <laughs> that was that was a hell of a sleep charge. Wrong time to drop your shield there, Thunder. There's the nano in case. The purple landed as well, and J-Man immediately deleted. Beautifully done. A couple of back to back you know, great plays out of passenger. <laughs> Gotta set that up. I mean, it's just going to buy more time for his ASU and a bit of a last fight situation. Ooh, Eevee looking like they might die here, right? Lucky to get that primal off. I can't believe you even got that primal off, to be honest. I mean, that was stunned purple sleeps. The whole tank experience. The pulse bomb's now thrown into the back. Panther throws in the nano, and Aurora goes in to see what they can find with it. Going into both supports, Aurora eats the bio nade. Now it's to jump back and is greeted by Mr. Butler. Putter was there to say hello as well. Rally tossed in here from the defense of Tapire. Putter now with a uh, pulse bomb ready to go. Hunt down onto G-Man who's only half health. Who's back here on the point? It was just Thunder holding down the objective. And that's as far as ASU is going to get. Well, we're rooting for Tup uh, Tanuki Tapire, obviously. It's just whether you're rooting for the current version of Tanuki Tapire or Tapire 1.0, a.k.a. ASU. Now, Chive, just want everybody to have a good time. You know how I am. I just hope everybody has fun.
All right. Superior on the attack, and Amy immediately sleeping on the job. Purple on the dynamite end. The passenger managed to sneak across. An important positioning here and an interesting alley approach. One more putter is able to clean up. Wolfie now protecting the back line. Noticing this move, Aurora tried to press around. Now rotates to try to protect the back line. Doesn't make the jump, but a boop down. Navy is not in cafe either, so. Cafe stays somewhat secure for now here for ASU. Gem out onto this back line and force passenger out of the fight. And picks up a kill onto Narwhal along the way. Evie trying to see if they can peel. Wolfie with a good kill. Fortunately, not enough uh, percentage for a, a permanent tick here for Tapire. But are now loop it around through main. Trying to sneak in underneath. There you go. Nano boost. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got the nano. Got the kill on Aurora, and that's going to do it. Z Panther is still about 15% away. Their early nano out of passenger. It's going to deliver point A of Hollywood. We still have Nano as well as Primal ready to go. Anu dies there by elevator. But are starting to make a way up to the top. So knock back down. Aurora now inside. Seems they can find anything inside cafe. Gets slept. Nano, or excuse me, the Bionade is out. The Primal will only get a couple of hits before getting chased away. Butter pursued momentarily, but Aurora heads up back to that high ground. Z Panther still with the nano in the pocket. J Man trying to jump away. Here comes Evie giving pursuit. Knowing the coach gun was just used, heads back up for the second time with the primal rage. Basing down four ASU players here on this high ground. Knocks a couple of them down. Thunder, luckily enough, lands on that balcony. Is able to pop the rally and back away with Panther at their back. Still has a nano, by the way. No kills there after a couple ultimates invested here from Tanuki Tapire. Battle still on the high ground. EV low. Drops back down for the Mega. As Wolfie's going to go ahead and invest that Bob. That Bob was up on the high ground just to protect EV's escape. And that works. Ends up coming up with a kill on to Thunder. And EV is able to lumber their way across the bridge right on to J-Man. Jump down. A lot of damage in. Jump pack damage successful. Hunter would be proud. Nano was invested here from ASU throughout this fight. They're not going to get a whole lot with it. Narwhal streaming comms are hectic. It's so funny. Oh! I would love to check in on some narwhal cobs. We may still have to see if we can set that up. I'm curious if the how the delay is. If we could like be using our own observer, like me, like using the camera, but pipe in some uh, some to P ray comms here. Just just for like ten seconds or so. That could be fun. That could be a fun fun little addition. Nearly four minutes on the clock here for Tapire to get what they need to tie the series. Do have an entrenched backline here from ASU up on that high ground. But Aurora down low might be the ticket. Ooh, but on who sneaks in. Binds the kill on the passenger. That's an opportunity for ASU to stabilize. Primal, excuse me. I was like, why didn't that nano come out? I was like, oh, well, that would explain it. Passenger, Wolfie, under a bit of duress. End up using the nano onto Wolfie to see if they can get that kill in Aurora, and it works. The beautiful headshot. Good lord. Now just daring anybody to peek. 
DB had to use their bubble there, which means they don't have it for this engagement. Love the primal for the second jump. A lot of damage in on the Z Panther. They're going to make the jump back down to the bottom. Can't quite regroup with Thunder. Now the jump over, but J-Man's picked up two while this is all going on. Make that three. J-Man will clear this point. Anhu coming up with one as well. Defense stopped this cart just about five minutes shy. Ooh, both pulses went out, but only putters connects. Bob in from the attacking team. Oh, just shooting everybody in the back. Who dares try to touch? So Nuka Tapiri, I take map two, and we'll tie us up here in the series. Stats there for map number two. We'll actually do this later. Ooh. It actually looks like uh, we're pretty close as far as the timing. I think Narwhal is just like a couple of seconds behind. Awesome. All right. Janika Superior Bannon out. We're gonna stop it here for map number three. What stood out to the all map two there? Uh, I noticed Eevee had a hell, uh, is leading the server in Elim's damage. What a great addition here to this squad. You should put it on to here for map number three. Gonna be on the wrecking ball once again with the Lucio Kiri. We're gonna get the uh, Arisa Goblin call. Ooh, and a beautiful predictive energy javelin there. Caught Eevee Squaw. Square right in the bread basket. Another pick from Noah on the back line. And it's just a, a trade here. 3v3 left on this objective. Now down to a 2v2. Anhu low. Ooh, Anhu backing away. Here comes Putter in with the kill. Aurora trying to run away with the bot. Does have the Fortify to try to get out, but gets melted by Wolvie's energy beam. 
Combined with Putter didn't stand a chance. With the Arisa out of the fight. Some free mirage, more importantly, control of this bridge. Jamie coming off of the Ash goes on over to the Cassidy. A little more anti tracer and a little bit better against the Wrecking Ball, I'd say. Uh, you can kind of inter interrupt that momentum with the flashbang. It's so important. Expecting a high ground push. You can see Aurora making the rotation. Watch, he even goes into the back line. Putter throwing in the pulse bomb. Nice little convergence onto the stairwell. As AS, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, as ASU tried to rotate up. Sound barrier thrown in on the back of this fight. This Thunder has been able to get a kill after the orbital ray was thrown in there by Panther. Or is able to pick up one, now coming in, but Putter is able to chase another one down. On who close to a pulse and finds themselves in a 1v3 as they grab the Mega and Eevee just smashes them. Dive in over the top. Narwhal's there to back it up. This is one of the strengths of the Lucio. Well, you know, we kind of, as we've gotten into this Juno meta more and more, yeah, you start wondering, what, what does the Lucio bring to the table? One of the things is being able to move in a lot more fearlessly uh, in with these dives. When you start going fast like that, you start looking to converge on the heroes. When you get the Wrecking Ball, when you get Eevee, Putter, and Narwhal all able to, to very quickly get around and capitalize on an out-of-position on who or backline. Extremely powerful, and Narwhal has, has had a great impact on this Lucio. In the few times we've seen the Lucio carry here today. The second time we've seen it today, and there you go. Point in case is Narwhal is there to help with that kill under Aurora. Ooh, Passenger even getting into the mix. Both backliners here out of Tanuka Tapire. Able to put down a little bit of hurt. And that is Checkpoint and Moir picked up. Thunder with Rally. On who trying to see if he can control some high ground here. And Eevee with the roll through. is just headed all the way into the back line, as is On who. On who moves in. We end up with a duplicate there out of Wolfie. I think trying to go help out actually uh, with Eevee. Trying to like triple dash in, but immediately recalls back out. Pulse thrown in on a reward. Duplicate is done. Jamie's going to take the down. Thunder throws in the Rally. And it looks like ASU finally stabilized here a little bit. Eevee does pick up a kill on to J-Man in the back line. And is that Putter still here as well? You betcha. Oh, no. Putter's up on the high ground. That's Passenger that was down low. Ended up swift stepping up to this high ground. And Eevee eventually muscled down. Roar will chase away the stragglers. And ASU starts sending the bot back the other direction. So J-Man is way back here. Let's kind of get a look at this formation. So you get, it's a bit of a 3-2 right now. Aurora joining in on this side. Anhu circles back in. So ASU managed to all organize around Courtyard. There comes the mines right over the thick of them. Aurora goes forward. Everybody else goes back. Anhu joining Aurora there up front. Sound barrier thrown in from Narwhal. Looks like they're going to try to move in to punish this back line. But Nano Boost is out there on to J-Man. They're immediately going to pick up that kill. Ooh, got one shot in on the Wolfie. There's the follow up. Low passenger will not escape. Gets caught by Aurora and ASU win another fight in a row. They're going to get some significant progress here off of this one and control over this high ground bridge. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to go through the geometry there. Great clap back out of ASU here in these past couple fights, but it's still going to take a little bit more to get to this checkpoint. Do we have J-Man stationed up top here with this Deadeye? Pulse Bomb out of Putter doesn't land, and Aurora's able to pick up one down low. And a bit of a battle. Kind of got body blocked back out to rejoin the rest of their team. Had the Primal Rage if they needed, but Eevee won't be able to force it out just yet. I think Aurora would love to go in the back line with this, you betcha. Kitsune rush out to try to fend off the Winston. Here comes Eevee giving chase to said Winston. 
Apparently, Aurora just ducked out and got the heck out of Dodge. Checkpoint picked up. Little fancy footwork, and Evie gives, uh, gives, I'm sorry, Aurora gives Evie the slip. A little bit of a Charlie Niner on that point, I'd say. A little bit of a, a misdirection, some smoke and mirrors here out of ASU to grab a very important milestone in this map, and you're very close to taking this lead, particularly with Jamin getting that kill on the putter. Wolfie has returned on a uh, on a Sojourn to try to match. Really cool skin. I love this skin. And it is close to an overclock. Maybe heading into the back line. Needs to sleep dart. Putter with them. And everybody's forced back out as the rally is popped there from Thunder. Nano now thrown down to Aurora as well. Good kill from J-Man and on who? I think the Nano may just been the red herring. ASU now with the lead. Though they did use a couple of ults of that fight. Most support ults to be exact. So a lot coming online here for Tanuki Tapira. J Man is the only art currently available. In fact, Aurora not gonna get theirs all line. Mine's throwing in over the top. Tanuki Tapira are gonna head back the other direction, investing only mines into this fight. They'll have the other four to leverage the rest of this map. Still a lot of work to do. I mean, plenty to go. Purple taking a lot of damage. That cleanse just in the nick of time. But I threw a pulse bomb up there as well. And nothing connects between the two uh, DPS ults invested here from Tanuki Tapire. Jamin still holding his high ground. That was an interesting skate. I saw that just in the nick of time. Narwhal get that sound barrier down. And with it, J-Man falls. Aurora not able to clap back here. It's Evie who's able to take down the back line. And who gets one? There's the rest of the kills. Aurora Primaling, was this a battle of the tanks? It's just a battle of the tanks, right? Oh, there's Putter still here too. Putter not going on a bit of a sneaky sneak. Oh, did they mark this? Okay, Putter decides to jump back in, make sure on who can't get through on the flank of their own. May have gotten just gotten found out. Wolfie trying to push in from the inside. See Panther with a read on that play. Rally now, oh, excuse me, that was Tsunade Rush. Invested here from Passenger and Putter. Finally trying to invest that pulse pop. Still not able to get much with it, and Thunder's going to go ahead and invest the rally of their own here on this point. And, and this is looking... Like a good start for Tanuki Tapiria on the back of this in overtime. ASU now waiting on a spawn. One final fight to determine who moves up to match point. Wolfie eats a bionade at the beginning of this fight. Coming up on an overclock, but J-Man has this dead eye in the pocket already unleashed. Three seconds to find a target. There's a whole host of targets. Oh, but one of them has a railgun down. Now the bio thrown into the back to try to fend off Eevee. Nano thrown onto Aurora. Aurora's looking for Potter. Putter one ducks around the corner and all while with the boop. Bubble is thrown down to try to block off not only the damage, but some healing coming in to help Eevee. But Aurora took too much of their own. Has to back away. Eevee low. The purple is in. Narwhal goes down. We call out. Ooh, and Eevee cannot contest for long. As ASU just managed to continue to put pressure down. Rotating who was going in. Who was taking the brunt of the damage. Who was taking the aggro. J-Man and Anhu come up with a couple kills on the back of the fight. And ASU take map three. Beautiful rotation on that front line from ASU. 
They never allow Tapire to recover off the initial onslaught of damage between the, the nano boost onto the uh, onto Aurora. Um, and then the, the rally out of thunder. Nope. So we get some stats there from map three. Come on, Scorewell. Don't be stubborn. Evie, once again, with only three deaths. But ASU coming out on top. Anhu leading the server with 11,000 damage, 17 and 5. Uh, headed into map four, there is no ban here. Both teams are in the race cup. Oh, early damage there from J-Man. Look at, look at J-Man's old charge. J-Man's just been putting in a world of hurt here at the start of this one. Continuing to hunt down some exit picks. Nice <laughs> shooting out of J-Man. Wow. Oh, my. What an opener here on map four. J-Man's making a statement. All right, Putter and uh, Passenger trying to push in here on the flank side. While Eevee and the rest try to come in up through main. There's the speed ring for Eevee to push in. Chicken and Wolfie kind of coming in right behind him. Throwing some shots down. You gotta watch out for this Deadeye. They're already ready to go. Aurora actually coming up with the first pick here. Flashbang over the head. No shot necessary. Thunder will batter down Putter. And another fight win here out of ASU. That's an orbital ray thrown in. The J-Man is just like, fine, I will just dead-eye right into it. Eats a spear out of Eevee, actually. Then he's going to go ahead and throw Terra Surge. Aurora taking a bit of damage on the back of that one, but an orbital ray thrown in here from ASU, and they're able to fight right back out of it, especially with Anhu going and pull up Dragon Blade into the Rally of Passenger. He just cut right up through that shield. Passenger's got battered down by Katana and Mace alike. And ASU cleaning up here on this first uh, flash bar. Damn Stevie, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you being here. As you hold on to Rally and Terra Surge. Kind of bunched up in this small hallway. Could be a dangerous position for Tanuki Tapir to try to push in. Yeah, War is going to immediately try to take advantage of this close quarter fight. And Thunder batters down Narwhal on the back of that ultimate. Z Panther is able to give Putter a swift kick as well. And a good fight here out of ASU as they clean up using those two ultimates. 
Good five plan, good execution. Good stagger on the passenger. So you gotta be careful not to get stuck in a bad position, but ASU are able to fight out of that. Ooh, Wolfie is low. Aurora does find that pick. Energy Javelin goes right into the spin, but that's okay. Butter goes down and 33% building on the board as they chase Tanika Tapire all the way back to the refinery. Anyone know if Putter has it? You two. Oh, somebody in this chat should know. Buffy that was on who hit straight up into the air with Katana. Well, Array invested in here from ASU as well to kind of bolster this. And ends up being another just two fight combo. Okay, and ASU know exactly how they want to execute. They're taking these fights on their own terms, where they want to take them. Uh, Narwhal is just... Yeah, we have, we're just going to orbital. All right, let's see. I don't know. It's now a good time to cut it on some... Yeah, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I cannot. Get some Narwhal My comms bad, here from Tanuki Tapir. Okay, behind us. Turn, turn. EV come, EV come, please. Yeah, back in, back in, back in. Get set up boy. We actually yeah, we're, we're really getting flustered. Like, we're talking about previous points and shit. Just fuck us. Uh, what are they? Yeah, they, okay. They used high, they used high noon, uh, blade, rally, got it. Uh, they have a Rissa. They're going right, going right. We've noon. If they try to crash out, I think we should probably When they ring, first. Yeah, yeah. When they ring, you pop noon, okay? We have force touch if they want to watch. Yeah. You, you can pop it. You can pop it. You can pop it. I can. I can. I can. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You kind of tell where where the comms were, and that was yeah. The the Arisa kill was there a little bit later, but yeah, it was still still cool to kind of cut into that. But yeah, it's the first time we've got to do that. All right, so it was a little. My bad, a little scuffed. Um, but yes, yeah, okay. We got we got a little team comms cut in there for that fight. A successful fight out of Tanuki Tapire as well. Um, even though they may have miscalled the or misread the dead eye coming out of J-Man, it's not a big factor. Wolfie is in fact able to get one of their own. The call to play second being the right call. Evie tries to go first this time. Gets the rally out of Thunder. See them if they can pressure down the brig. Or is right there on top of the blow. He drops down with Anhu giving chase. Meanwhile, Aurora's moved up to the high ground to see if they can claim this point. Dash through on the putter. Take get you down 85% to blade. That one hurts. You open a ready to close this out here for ASU. And they've got percentage in refinery. Well, we'll, we'll do a little bit more of that. I know uh, J-Man usually streams as well. So if there's, hmm, that's a that's a good question. Things to start asking teams. We'll see if, if they've got streamers. Uh, yeah, we can kind of pipe them in, get some team comps here, just every once in a while. Don't want to don't want to overdo that. But I uh, was I thought that was really cool. That was fun to listen to through that fight, even if it wasn't perfectly synced up. You know, it still kind of got the idea. Dead Eye now out here from J Man. That forced everybody outside. Yeah, you 1% here for ASU. Three ults all live for Tapir Tsukunuke. Wait, other way around. You get what I mean. Speed ring. Engage into the dead eye. Watch out for Anu coming in on the backside. And Aurora sneaks in to get that javelin. But. No! Nobody makes it out! Nobody makes it out! Oh, that's lucky.
Unlucky. Well, let's look at some map four stats. That's map three. I still head up there. Let's see if we can get some map four stats in here for you. There we go. A rough map. A rough map for Tanuki Tapiri. I think we cut in the comms on the right time. That was like the most successful moment for them on that map. Uh, and one of the only team fight wins they were going to get. As you can see, just you know, two deaths and below across the board there for ASU. What a clutch. After, after a disappointing showing in ABC Homecoming. ASU have come in here and continue to, to shell out against some of the toughest teams, taking a win over Midori, now a win over Tanuka Tapire. They do still have uh, alt Spartans in the future that they have to contend with. So if we take a look back at ASU's record. So we got a dub here. Let's see if we refresh this. This should update. So they do move up to 9-2. and two. Oh, we're starting to get... Uh, and they'll have they'll have alt Spartans to contend with, and these matches just populated, right? I don't think these were here when we started. I don't feel like the the next weeks of matches were populated at the top of the series. I think these just uh, these just got aside. Um, but capping off this insane run of Sakura Mid Midori. Tapire and Alt Spartans with Boot Troop in there as well. Boot Troop no slackers, but these other four teams remember are. Four of your top five teams uh, that Sun Devils have had to deal with all in a row here. Uh, and so far, they've won two of those three. So big, big, big showing out of ASU, particularly coming off of what was, you know, a rough stretch there. Could have been easy for them to, you know, to let that get them down. Uh, instead, no, 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 no. ASU rise up. They rise up. Uh, oh, thank you for the raid. J-Man. J-Man, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I appreciate it. GG's. GG's. Yeah, I think next time I want to I get, start getting some team comms in here. Uh, we, we got just a touch of Tapiri team comms in on this one there on that last map. And I didn't think about it until it's like, oh, of course J-Man's going to be streaming. I should have gotten some some ASU comms in here. And we can start peppering some team comms in with these streams. So, hey, you know what? We're just, we're just building and growing every day. Just like our teams. Just like our players. ASU building on that record. Moving up to 9-2 and two here. Let's refresh these standings. You will definitely... I have a feeling these two will definitely meet in playoffs. Uh, yeah, you're still in fifth place. You're still in fifth place, Tapiri. Like, no, don't, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Look at Zenith. Zenith popping up into, into top five. Obviously coming up with a dub here today. Alt Spartans able to win their match. Uh, no, they haven't played their match. Alt Spartans. Ooh, no. Alt Spartans lost their match. Because Alt Spartans were eight and two. Alt Spartans lost their match. What was, who, was that against Zenith? Let's go. Let's go see this. Oh, of course you're going to go like. I wish these were in reverse order. Wait, what's going on here? Okay, no, they are in reverse order. Okay, I'm an idiot. No, Zenith bent hive my kittens. Okay. Aurora, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Great showing out there today. Legend. Let's see what other matches we have come through. Who did all Spartans lose to? Always having a pretty kitty score to map five. Okay, anyway. Definitely, uh, I mean, the standings just, just completely shook up off of this match. Uh, Midori come up with their win as well, so... Uh, we entered this with five teams sitting at two losses. We end the day with only two of those teams sitting at two losses. So big shakeups here on the day. Tapire, Spartans, and Sakura. Oh, no, Sakura is still sitting at two losses. Sorry, they just got bumped down because they haven't played their 11th match yet. Sorry, Sakura d d is still sitting on two losses. So there you go. Okay, uh, <laughs> massive poop. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Oh, right. Well, that does it for our match here. 
I uh, I hate to to just reshuffle J Man's viewers here, but I I was about to wrap up myself. I don't think we got anything left here for the night. Um, lots to catch up on. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Do really appreciate it. Do really appreciate it. A uh, big shout out for both of our teams. Uh, love you all. Thank you for being here. That's all I got for you. That's yeah. Uh, I was trying to think of what else I got for you. I think it's, here. We'll go through. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, before I let you go. For NA, I got Team Mid taking on YFP tomorrow night. Will be your master matchup. So come back. Hopefully, I will see y'all then on Wednesday. We're gonna have Hive Mind Kittens taking on uh, First Flame Heat Wave. The remainder of your matches here for NA this week. But that is in fact the end of our day. Oh uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the followers. Thank you for the Ray J, man. Congrats on the dub. Uh, yeah, y'all be kind to each other. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.